What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I understand the temptation to meme on Greta Thunberg with all of her, how dare you, and the fact that she's a uber-rich child of uber-rich people um, and uh, gets to play activist on the weekends. But she's still a kid, 18 or 19 years old, and also her Aspies and things like that. But at some point, you know, people can't be above criticism, especially when they wield um, an enormous uh, amount of power, especially when they are rubbing shoulders with um, enormously powerful people. In this case, uh, at least allegedly, in some attempt to destabilize the Indian government. It's just a kid. Uh, for the most part, I've often thought, you know, I, I, I have to think it's just people taking advantage of this kid because the alternative is that she's like an evil mastermind. Uh, and I just I can't accept that. Um, and, you know, if you're new to this channel, yes, I cover Star Wars stuff, but I also cover real stuff, too. And um, if you haven't yet, I hope that you'll click that red subscribe button down below and support the channel. Now, brand new. This is via Jack Posobiec. Newly released text messages show Disha Ravi panicked after Greta Thunberg accidentally deleted, I'm sorry, tweeted this illegal, quote, toolkit, hashtag Gretagate. What I'm also told is the person that uh, reported on this may have also been fired. Pretty spooky stuff. Um, you can see... They panicked after Greta accidentally tweeted the toolkit, feared the UAPA might be slapped against her. Now, if you don't remember what this was, it was a big uh, coordinated push with people like Rihanna uh, pushing for um, uh, the farm protests. And, you know, this is a, a big deal, obviously, in India. And um, why outside interference was required from Greta Thunberg and Rihanna? Well, we found out later when this, when she accidentally tweeted her uh, essentially, I don't really know how else to describe it, but a guide to corporate, a guide to political propaganda, uh, which showed like how to have celebrity tweets keyed up and what to share. It was well organized, well funded, and. Buried almost immediately after this accident. Now, uh, Disha Ravi Ravi, along with Mumbai lawyer Nikita Jacob and Poon based. <laughs> I'm a child, okay? Uh, engineer Shantanu uh, Mullik created the quote toolkit, which was aimed at tarnishing the image of India. This out of New Delhi. Now, again, I. I, I uh, please understand to my Indian viewers, I'm reporting the facts as I see them. I don't have uh, a, a dog in this fight. I, I This isn't to support or admonish these particular protests. Uh, my interest starts and stops with, with foreign interference and coordinated um, um, kind of campaigns. So... Disha had panicked after Greta Thunberg had accidentally tweeted the toolkit and feared that she might be booked under the stringent UAPA Act. WhatsApp chats accessed by the Times now revealed on Tuesday. As for the Delhi police, the chats between the Bengaluru based climate activist and Thunberg hinted at, post, uh, at both reportedly discussing how to create a protest toolkit backing the farmer's agitation with the aim of, quote, tarnishing the image of India and the hate storm that could have followed in the country. Again, be clear, I pick no sides here. Now, uh, what we do know for a fact is that she did tweet this toolkit and that it, that, that was showing uh, like Rihanna's, uh, you know, everyone sharing the article. Why aren't more people talking about this? Links to CNN stuff. This is factual, right? Um, regardless of how it may be uh, branded by particular media. I have no idea if Times Now News is biased. Um, now, Times Now, uh, Bavatosh, Bahavatosh, sorry, no disrespect, reported uh, that the WhatsApp chats 
were made immediately after Greta inadvertently put out the toolkit, which was sent to her by Disha via Telegram on February 3rd. Isn't it funny how everyone uses all these, like, well, anyway. Um, and thereafter, she tweeted the toolkit, following which, uh, following which chats between them followed. The most important point of the chats was that Disha realized that she was in big trouble and told Greta she needed five minutes to talk to her lawyers. Delhi police claimed that Disha Mumbai-based lawyer Nikita Jacob and Poon-based <laughs> engineer uh, Shantanu created the toolkit aimed at tarnishing the image of India. The police also informed that the pro Kalistani group Poetic Justice Foundation founder Mo Dal Dalwal, come on, <laughs> let's say Mo uh, Dalwal had contacted them through Canada-based woman named Poonit, a Canadian citizen, to create the storm ahead of the Republic Day. According to PD, they also attended a meeting on Zoom on January 11th, organized by this group. The meeting finalized the plan to, quote, create the toolkit titled Global Farmer Strike and Global Day of Action. Um, you can see breaking Greta Thunberg and Disha discussed the toolkit, says Delhi Police. This is uh, not a good look for a kid. Um, and, and the conversations uh, pretty telling. We can see here in... Um, Disha, are you okay? Asking Greta. Um, this is av after the leak, obviously. I need to write something. Disha then says, can you give me five minutes? I'm talking to the lawyers. Why would you need to talk to lawyers if you weren't doing anything wrong? Uh, Greta, these hate storms happen. Sometimes they're really intense. Disha, I am really, really sorry. We are all panicking because this is getting really bad here. I wonder why that is. Um, Disha then tells Greta Thunberg that they will make sure the Swedish cli climate activist name remains, quote, in the clear, saying they have to deactivate all social media accounts. But we will make sure you're in the clear. We just have to deactivate all socials. Disha Ravi, a 21-year-old climate activist, was arrested from her house in Bengaluru, ben, ben, Bengaluru? I'm sorry. Uh, on Sunday in connection with a toolkit. The Delhi police has claimed that the 21-year-old climate activist from that city was an editor of the Google Doc and a key conspirator in the documents. Uh, it goes. Uh, she goes on to say, Greta Thunberg, it would be really good to have it ready now. I will receive so many threats because of this. It's really blowing up. This is, I mean, just think about what Greta's saying here. I... Everyone, what she's really saying is everybody knows that I was uh, basically um, a mouthpiece for this type of thing. I'm, I'm participating in something that I shouldn't be. Why wouldn't people, um, you know, if, if this was something natural, like let's say I was, you know, somebody, I don't know, let's say Account Dankula, for example, reached out to me the other day and said, hey, I need some help. Uh, um, they're, they're draining the lock by my house where... A lot of local people fish. This is like a r literal thing going on. And he was like, bro, can you like tweet something out about this or let people know? Okay. And let's say I accidentally leaked the DMs where he's asking me to do that. I wouldn't react like, oh no, this is going to cause me problems, right? Because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just trying to support a friend and an environmental cause that is important to him. Um, she goes on. Uh, uh, oh no, oh no, we'll say it. Um, Disha then says, sending it to you. Okay, can you not tweet the toolkit at all? Uh, can we just not say anything at all for a while? I'm going to talk to lawyers. I'm so I'm sorry, but our names are on it. And we can literally get the UAPA against us. So this is the admission of a crime here, in my opinion. Then asking, are you okay? Greta, I need to... S oh, this is the beginning of it. Sorry, that's at 925. This is some this is some spooky stuff, um, you know. The idea that you know, really sorry, we're all panicking because it's getting really bad. This is very very bad. Um, and of course, Jack Posobiec tweeting breaking newly released texts show Disha Ravi panicked after Greta Thunberg accidentally tweeted the illegal toolkit. Now, I will admit, I am not, you know. In terms of American law, I don't see any problem whatsoever of people organizing via Google Docs for peaceful protests. 
Um, but I don't believe that's what this was from what I'm seeing. You see Kenneth Sowen saying, I hope everyone in America is following this insane story. We all knew it, but Greta Thunberg really got caught red-handed in India. She is a paid global propagandist that incites protests and unrest around the world. A disturbed child, just as Trump warned. Chill, Greta, chill. Um, you know, she is a paid agitator, in my opinion. I don't really know. Um, you know, you can see a lot of people in India feel that it was an attack on the Indian state. Um, more than 300 policemen were injured in the capital. Um, most of the people there were rioters, not farmers. It really makes you think about everything that was happening here in the United States over the summer and at the Capitol. Uh, this is, you know, again, Greta's just a kid. Maybe she should get off Twitter and, you know, like relax a little bit, be a kid, um, you know, and, and not get ensnared in this kind of global uh, craziness. Um, you know, be a kid. Start some recycling centers around your, your home, um, you know, some reusable energy, things like that. All these things I would support. Maybe keep toppling local governments off your plate until you're maybe 35. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.